Nia National Park, located within Miri Division, Sarawak, Malaysia, is the site of the Nia Caves Limestone Cave and archaeological site. Nia National Park was 31.4 square kilometers when it was gazetted in 1974. Nomination for World Heritage Status of the Nia Caves was sent to UNESCO in 2010. History The caves are thought to have been visited by Europeans in search of minerals, perhaps in the late 1840s, but no documentation is known. Alfred Russell Wallace is said to have learned about the caves during his 1855 expedition to then much smaller Sarawak, if so it was from his host at the Simonjan coal mine, Robert Colson, who had worked in Labuan and explored its adjacent areas. Wallace subsequently recommended to Charles Darwin and the Royal Society that Colson be appointed to explore the caves of Borneo as a potential site for discovering important hominid fossils, however, Alfred Hart Everett was chosen. In the 1950s and 1960s, Barbara and Tom Harrison excavated the site and made significant discoveries. They discovered the Deep Skull in 1958. Since then, local universities and foreign scientists have continued the archaeological research, and many articles have been published in the Sarawak Museum Journal. The site has been re excavated 1999 to 2003 plus by the Niyah Caves Project, a joint British Malaysian expedition, to determine the accuracy of Harrison's work. Nia Caves The main cave, Nia Great Cave, is located in Gunning Subas and is made up of several voluminous chambers with high ceilings. The Great Cave lies in a large limestone block, about a kilometre long in general north to south direction and about half a kilometre wide, that is detached from the main Gunning Subas complex, by a valley between about 150 to 200 metres wide. The main Gunning Subas complex rises to about 394 metres above sea level at its highest point. The whole Gunning Subas limestone complex lies some 17 kilometres inland from the South China Sea coast, near the town of Batu Niya and about 65 kilometres southwest of the town Miri. It is roughly heart shaped, measuring 5 kilometres from its northern tip to the south and 4 kilometres across. The Gunning Subas is surrounded by a low countryside with gentle hills from which the small limestone massif and its smaller detached blocks rise rather abruptly out of the jungle, some with cliffs over 100 metres high. Though it is not an extensive cave system compared to others in Sarawak, it has been estimated to cover some 10 hectares and the roof rises to about 75 metres above the cave floor in some places. In geological terms, the limestones are part of the Subas formation. This is dated to some 20 to 16 million years ago during the early Miocene. Topic: <laughs> Archaeology. The caves have been used by humans at different times ranging from the prehistory to Neolithic, Chinese Sung era and more recent times. The Sarawak Museum began systematic archaeological work in the caves since 1954. The cave is an important prehistorical site where human remains dating to 40,000 years have been found. This is the oldest recorded human settlement in East Malaysia. More recent studies published in 2006 have shown evidence of the first human activity at the Niyah Caves from ca. 46,000 to ca. 34,000 years ago. Painted Cave, situated in a much smaller limestone block of its own, some 150 metres from the Great Cave block's southeastern tip, has rock paintings dated as 1,200 years old. Archaeologists have claimed a much earlier date for stone tools found in the Mansuli Valley, near Lahad Datu in Sabah, but precise dating analysis has not yet been published. Items found at Niya Cave include Pleistocene chopping tools and flakes, Neolithic axes, adzes, pottery, shell jewelry, boats, mats, then iron tools and ceramics and glass beads dating to the Iron Age. The most famous find is the human skull dated at around 38,000 years BCE. Painted cave has paintings and wooden coffin death ships. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Current activities. The caves are also well known for the bird's nest swiftlet industry. They are a popular tourist destination in Sarawak. 
Every section of the ceiling in the caves where there are birds roosting is privately owned and only the owner has the right to collect the nests. Collection is done half yearly, usually in January and in June. The collector climbs up hundreds of feet on a single pole to the cave ceiling and scrapes off the nest in flickering candlelight. Topic: See also Prehistoric Malaysia <laughs>